What's going on, all you wild Dracula fans out there? Your two favorite bloodthirsty bloodsuckers are back tonight. And we are back to review the brand new horror film that just dropped over the past weekend. We are talking about The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I'm gonna kill the cursed thing. He is on this ship, which means that we will never leave him. The devil is real. May God have mercy on us all. So that's right, we are back from the theater having just watched The Last Voyage of the Demeter a new take on the whole Dracula tale that we've seen plenty of movies of. This takes it uh, straight from Bram Stoker's 1897 novel, uh, chapter seven, entitled Captain's Log, which narrates the impending dark, dark fate suffered by the merchant ship, the Demeter, from Varna all the way to England and all the craziness that ensues on the ship along the way. A uh, very cool story, very eerie setting being on the water. Uh, this big storm raging in, a lot of waves, and you have this, you know, killer on board that's slowly picking off the, you know, the uh, people on the ship one by one. So you mean if they're going to move Dracula from Transylvania to England, some shit's going to go down and people are going to die? Who'd have thought, right? <laughs> Who would have saw that coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I was really excited to to see this movie. I didn't hear about it you know maybe a few weeks ago i saw a trailer for it uh before i don't know one of the movies i went to see at the local cinema i'm like i've not heard of this movie but i'm like this looks awesome it's everything that i love dracula or vampires ships and the ocean i'm like okay this is cool i did some research on it having a bram stoker that you talked about so straight from the bloody pages of bram stoker and they kind of fill in the gaps of this movie and of everything that this crew of men and women go through mm -hmm getting from transylvania to, to england basically trying to move this cargo and uh one by one they start dying in the most goriest and bloodiest way you can think of yeah it's a very dark movie it reminds me of guillermo del toro's works you know that dark atmosphere uh that he always sets up in his movies but this one is directed by andre overdahl who also directed uh i believe the autopsy of jane doe um, he did that horror film several years back um, I really liked what uh, they did with this movie. This one, like you mentioned, flew under the radar for us. It wasn't even on our list for movies to watch this summer. And then the preview started hitting and the things I was watching, you know, streaming, saw some ads and saw the creature itself. And it really brought me on board. And after watching it, I was happy with what they did here. Really loved the atmosphere and enjoyed the actors that were, you know, involved in this too. We saw obviously Corey Hawkins. He's the main character playing Clemens and also Liam Cunningham, uh, the Game of Thrones, uh, Davos from Game of Thrones coming over here. He's the captain of the ship. Like you mentioned, there's also um, a uh, David Des uh, Desmelchin in it, uh, who we've seen in tons of work. Uh, James Gunn movies. He was in Suicide Squad, a bunch of other ones. Um, but then you even have, you know, the kid who comes on board and gets involved in the bloody action too and let's just say that the the monster doesn't uh you know spare any blood on the ship he bleeds everybody out and the movie is full of gore as they're trying to find the men to go on this ship or this vessel they're going through and they that's when they come across you know the main character he was a cambridge graduate um couldn't find a job because of his color of his skin so he's you know it was in uh, romania transylvania you know, trying to find a job and finds that ship trying to make it back to England. Essentially they bring them on. And one thing that stood out to me and stood out to one of the, the crew members there is the big, you know, box, the cargo with a dragon on it, <laughs> bringing that on the <laughs> ship. And the guy's like, no, it's a bad omen. No, 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 no. I'm not going on this. So he gets off there and brings the other guy in the main character. And yeah. Then, the know, box, the box almost falls on and lands on the kid. Like yes. bad omens right away. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, yeah. no, that's a sign of, demon or something like that so he gets out there so it frees up a spot in the ship and that's when they embark on this trip you know from transylvania all the way to england you're doing this through a 
really, really bad storms, you know, old ships who didn't have the mm-hmm. steering like they have now. So it's like on its side, water and everything that takes place, you know, within the ship at night, you know, and just one by one setting up some really creepy ass scenes. I thought the suspense and this is pretty good. You can imagine what they're going through. It has a claustrophobic feel to it. And then one by one, they're hearing things at night so dark. And then all of a sudden it starts striking and killing. Yeah. I like how they slowly reveal the monster itself. You know, you see it in the shadows a lot. But when it when you do see it on the screen, it's jarring. They did a really good job with the practical effects on the monster itself and just how brutal the attacks are. When he attacks, he always goes for the jugular. He goes for the most blood and he rips necks open. He, he really, the kills in this movie are really awesome uh, to behold. But yeah, everything's in the shadows. And uh, when you see the creature and how the creature is able to fly and be elusive too, um, you know, ultimately... Uh, several of the crew members uh, eventually see it and know what they're up against. And they kind of have to try to outsmart the creature itself. Um, so it's, it's a really thrilling movie. The atmosphere is really uh, spooky being in the water, dark. You can imagine being on, on the ship and going through all that. It's just a harrowing uh, journey that these characters are put on and a really cool movie, you know, that came out of nowhere. You know, we didn't expect this at all. And, Right before the, uh, you know, the fall season, Halloween season, it hits. Unfortunately, it didn't play too well at the box office, but I think this one's going to have a lot of legs once it hits the streamers here around Halloween time. We recommend it a lot to you guys, and I think we both really enjoyed this. Marketing was terrible. Didn't hear anything about it. You know, this is what mm-hmm. we do. Stay on top of movie news. Didn't hear anything about this <laughs> until up in maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago. I was like, okay. I'm down for Dracula on a ship in the ocean. That sounds cool. So had a great time with this. Bram Stoker. i am always got my attention when the best authors ever. Uh, Dracula, obviously a great, phenomenal book. And bringing the you know bloody pages of this, Last Voyage of Demeter, to the, the big screen was a really fun time. What they added, you know, more suspense, more to the story of Dracula. I love how the creature looks like you're saying the practical effects look amazing. And it reminds me of like Salem's lot meets Nosferatu, you know, like a mix between both the bald, it's got the big teeth, the wings and everything. It's just really mm-hmm. terrifying. And I can put myself in their shoes and can feel what they're going through. So really fun time at the movie theater, you know, this movie would have been great during October, but whatever, it was still a fun time and got the yeah. point across and definitely one of the better horror flicks of the year. For me for sure yeah i absolutely agree this was a, a a sleeper hit for me came out of nowhere uh glad i watched it and gave it a chance um is it gonna blow you away no it's not that kind of film it's not that great of a horror film but it's you're gonna enjoy this you're gonna have a good time watching this it's enjoyable and perfect for the halloween season so with that being said i'm going to give the new dracula tale the last voyage of the demeter i'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five, Corey Hawkins hair pieces. So that being said, I'm going to give the last voyage of the Demeter. I'm going to give it a four out of five Dracula hair pieces. So we want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think of the last voyage of Demeter if you went and saw it? If not, what's your favorite Dracula movie? Is it Bram Stoker's Dracula? Or did you like this the series Dracula that was on Netflix recently? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always... Don't forget to click subscribe. Also check out these wild bloodsuckers on Facebook, X, and Instagram and our website, cinefellas.com for the latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. So thank you guys for watching our review of The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Until the next Cinefellas Review, I'm Uncle Henry Hill. And I'm Uncle Logan Nosferatu signing out until the next movie review. Cheers! Cheers!